This module is about attribute data and attribute tables. The learning objectives covered in this module include the database management system and its components and definition of the relational database management system and how it is created by uh, creating a relational database through normalization process. Then what are the eight primary operators in a relational database management system? And lastly, how to perform uh, table queries and table joins. So first of all, what is a database management system and how it is related to the attribute tables? Um, if you remember from the spatial data modeling, um, we need to capture the geometry, the attribute, and topology of the real world. And among these, attribute is what uh, provides the characteristics of the real world. For example, in this example, whether we choose raster model or vector model, the attribute is what is the land cover on the surface. So if we look at the GIS modeling, um, then we have the spatial and non-spatial data in the model. The spatial data provides the coordinates and the shapes on the surface, whereas the non-spatial data provides the attributes associated with those uh, coordinates and shapes. For example, in this case, the um, shapes are polygons and they are the counties. And if we look at the attribute table, which provides a non-spatial data, it includes, uh, for example, the population of the uh, county um, and other attributes about it. When we talk about the attribute data table, it provides the non-spatial data of some physical entity in the real world. The, it, it consists of rows and columns, um, and where rows can be thought of as records and columns as attributes. Each row corresponds to uh, an instance of the physical entity in the real world. For example, if these are, uh, if, if the, real, uh, the real world entity is land cover, then in this case, each polygon represents one particular land cover. And the corresponding row in the table provides the attributes of that particular instance of land cover. So in this case, if we choose number four, then number four, has the attribute of size, 119. The land cover is DF, dense forest, for example. Um, the soil is COH, and its a, uh, age um, is five. So um, this way, we have a combination of spatial information and non-spatial information um, in a GIS system. Now, I want to mention something here that whenever we create an attribute table, there must be one um, key attribute which uniquely identifies a row. So in this case, as you can see, there are three instances, two, three, and five, that have the same land cover. So if we use land cover to find that particular polygon, it will be very, it will be impossible. So, but ID is unique for every row. And if you have seen in ArcGIS, um, the system automatically creates an FID to ensure that each row has a key that can be used to find that row um, using that unique value, um, in this case, the ID. Now, table can also be thought as a relation. Um, if you remember from your math classes, um, a relation is ordered pair um, where the first entry comes from one set and the second entry comes from the second set. 
and this can be represented as ordered pairs or in the form of a table or even they can be plotted on the graph where x-axis and y-axis represent the values in set 1 and set 2 and you may also have seen a mapping diagram where set 1 and set 2 has um, arrows relating the values showing um, corresponding to the ordered pairs. Now all of these are valid representations of the relations um, and in particular you should notice that table is one way um, that uh, we use in engineering a lot. Excel tables are typically relations between one attribute and another attribute. So tables are relations. So for example in this case this table can be represented as ordered pairs where the entity is land cover and attributes are size, cover, soil, age, and etc. So an instance would be um, the corresponding values of these attributes put together in an n-tuple. And um, so these two representations as n-tuples and a table are equivalent representations. When we talk about database, then we are talking about the representation um, of a relation in a computer system. So a database is a collection of st structured data that is table held in a computer and it is managed by a special computer program called database management system. So um, through this process as you can see that in a GIS system we have attribute tables but at the back end we have a database management system handling those attribute tables. So a database management system is a special computer program that helps us to organize, manage, access and update uh, a database. Um, a collection of data can have a basis. For example, we could have a climate database or a crime database and sometimes we don't even use the word database after that. For example, accounts um, or student grades and it implies that a database management is handling the relevant database. And the database management system sits in between the database, which is a bunch of tables, and the user, which could be a person or another computer or some application on a computer. And what the users can do is they request information from the DBMS, which then accesses the database and delivers that um, query or search. And typical operations include reading the data, searching the data, adding new data to the tables, updating the old data, and of also deleting the old data. And some of the common DBMS systems that you may be familiar with include uh, MySQL, uh, Microsoft Access, and Oracle. When we deal with a database, there are some components of the database that we should be familiar with. The first one is the attribute that by now we have a good understanding of. It's an indivisible characteristic. It's also called a field. Um, and um, in our example table, size, cover, age, um, and soil are all examples of the attributes. The entity is a collection of related attributes. When we take all of these attributes and put them together um, in a relation, then it becomes an entity. So for example, land cover is created when we combine these attributes into a single table. And an instance is a specific entity. In other words, entity with identity. So land cover is the whole table, but an instance is one specific row of this table, also called a record. And then as we discussed earlier, a key is one specific attribute or it could be a combination of a couple of attributes that can be used to uniquely identify a record or instance. Um, for example, in this case, an ID is a unique identifier. Let's say there was not an ID. In that case, maybe in this case, we could combine the, um, the cover and soil attributes together to locate um, the instance. Or uh, the size could be used as a location of instance, but age cannot be used because 55 and 55 appear, uh, 55 appears twice. 
Some other components of a database include attribute type. Now, in our previous um, modules, we have covered the four types of uh, data, uh, including nominal and ordinal, which are usually alphanumeric values, and then interval and ratio, which are numerical, numerical values. Intervals are represented with short integer or long integer, and ratios are typically represented with a single Christian float or, the, or a double Christian float, a floating point. So in our example, the size, which can be a floating point, um, is a ratio, whereas a cover, which is uh, a, a, no, a name, is a nominal type data. Similarly, age is an integer, so it would be an um, interval type data. So all of the attributes have some uh, representation, um, which is represented by their attribute data type. Similarly, the domain is, uh, of a, an attribute defines the acceptable values of that attribute. For example, size is a ratio, but it cannot be a negative number. The size has to be a positive real number. So all the positive real numbers, will, the set of all positive real numbers is the domain for the attribute size. Similarly, for cover, set of all valid symbols uh, would be the the domain for the attribute cover. Likewise, age will be all positive integers. And um, lastly, the component of the database uh, schema is the conceptual structure of the database. Um, it's also represented using the entity relation table. Basically, it tells us how different tables are uh, uh, um, related to each other.